Hi, my name is Brett Statham. Welcome to Monitoring with Application Insights. This is the third scenario in a series of videos that I've created around Azure DevOps with Visual Studio Online. In this video, we're going to be specifically looking at monitoring web applications using a set of features in Visual Studio Online called Application Insights. You can grab the files for the slides and demos that I used through this and the other videos in this series. They're all up in a GitHub repo, and the links are available there on the screen. Application Insights is a set of features available to you through your Visual Studio Online account. It's basically going to give you ways that you can see what your users are doing with your websites, as well as with your Windows Store apps and Windows Phone apps. At a minimum, it could be that you're just doing basic availability testing. You know, is my website available? And if I hit it, am I getting a valid response back? But depending on where your site is running and what code you add to it, you can add additional information to track performance and usage analysis as well. If you're planning on working with Application Insights from within Visual Studio, you'll want to make sure to install the Application Insights tools for Visual Studio. And I'll show you how to do that in the upcoming demo. But once you have those installed, you can add Application Insights to existing projects by right-clicking on the project in Solution Explorer and choosing Add Application Insights Telemetry to Project. Or if you're creating new web application projects, from within the File New Project dialog, you should see a checkbox on the right-hand side to add Application Insights to the project as you create it. But once you've created your application up in Application Insights, you can then monitor it through the Visual Studio Online portal. So let's jump over and do a demo of monitoring your web application with Application Insights. I've got the project for the website that we created in the previous demo open up in Visual Studio here. And the first thing I want to do is to make sure that I've got the Application Insights tools for Visual Studio installed. So from within Visual Studio, I'll click on the Tools menu and come down to Extensions and Updates. And then on the Online page, I'm going to type into the search box, Application Insights. And then in the search results, you'd find the Application Insights tools for Visual Studio. Now, in my case, I already have them installed. If I didn't, though, you could click on the uh, Download or Install button. And then when you're done, it'll prompt you to restart Visual Studio. So once that's done, if I were to go to File, New, Project, and try to create a new web application, let's say, you notice that on the right-hand side of my File New Project dialog, I'd have this option to add Application Insights into that project as I created it. Now, in my case, I already have a project, so I'm just going to cancel out and right-click on the existing web application project that we have and select Add Application Insights Telemetry to Project. And in the Add Application Insights to Project wizard here, I see that it's going to connect up to my Visual Studio Online account as me. I can change that if I need to. And in there, it's going to create this object that has the same name as the web application. If you want to change the name, you can. Uh, but this application component that gets created is really where all the data about my application is going to be collected. Everything looks good to me, though, so I'll select Add Application Insights to Project. All right, and that's done. So now if I expand my project, I should see this new application insights.config file. If I select it, you can see it's actually just an XML file. And yes, you document it, and uh, you can get a link to the documentation there at the end, or actually just right here in the XML file itself. If I expand the config file, though, you'll notice that there's actually some shortcuts into the application insights dashboards for me. So I'll just double click on this first one, and you'll see that it's going to open up the browser and bring me into my Application Insights portal. And I can see that I have dashboards, and here's the one for my demo web application. Now, in fact, what I can monitor here is I mentioned availability as well as usage, et cetera, here. Let me jump over to availability, and I'll make sure that I'm looking at my demo web. And I don't currently have any availability test set up. Now, my screen might look a little bit different than yours if this is your first time through this. I, I've uh, monkeyed with this a little bit ahead of time. But basically, you'll be prompted to come in and set up what's called a single URL test. And the URL test is going to do nothing but hit a single URL. So I'll just type in the URL, Azure DevOps Demo Web Azure Web sites.net. So that's the URL of that site that we created earlier. I've got to give this test some name. I'm just going to call it general uh, availability test. And uh, 
down here I see that it's wanting to ping it from Japan. Uh, maybe uh, I instead want to ping from Singapore, let's say Dublin. Uh, how about San Jose, maybe Chicago, and San Antonio? So these are the various test nodes uh, that Azure can maintain, and it's going to ping this URL for me. And Right now, it's going to do it once every five minutes. If you want to, you can be more specific and require a specific status code to be returned. I won't worry about that, but I will come down here and say, well, hey, alert me if, let's say, three of those locations uh, fail within a five-minute window. And then you can go in and configure the emails uh, that are going to be used to notify you. Uh, but for me, everything looks good, and I'll go ahead and hit OK down here at the bottom of this dialog. And so with this demo, I'd have to sit around for a long time to collect really any meaningful information. And that's because I'm only going to be pinging once every five minutes. So it would take a long time to collect some meaningful data. So rather than sit here and watch this, I've got one already prepared. That's this other one up here, Azure DevOps Web. And you'll see that I've been collecting availability data uh, for this site for some time here. And in fact, if I come down to general site availability, I can see that I've got some performance data uh, over quite a fair uh, period of time. And I can, in fact, even zoom in on a specific period if I want to and get those specific data points coming back. If I hover over one of these, it looks like at one point we had a relatively uh, long millisecond response time coming back from the Dublin test location. And I can, in fact, even click on that dot and get details about that test result, including the response that came back, and even be able to download the web test result and inspect it inside Visual Studio. So that's pretty powerful uh, to get just off of a single URL availability test. Now, something else to think about is that that URL happened to be an Azure website, but it could have been any URL. You could have pinged a URL running on any other hosting platform uh, anywhere else out there in the world. So the next thing I'd like to be able to do is track usage. So first of all, let me switch back over to my demo web here. And I'm going to click on the little gear icon up here and get configuration keys and downloads. Now notice this is also where I could set up the email addresses that those alert notifications are going to go to. But I'll click this button up here. And you'll notice that there's a fair amount of data about your application, including IDs, et cetera, as well as some code that you can use from a variety of platforms. But I'm going to select and copy this JavaScript code. Back over in Visual Studio, I'm going to open up the layout.cshtml file. And right up here at the top, I'm going to paste that code in. And you'll see that what it's doing is creating this application insights object, tying it into the component uh, that was created for me. And then for every page that's requested, uh, it's going to use this layout uh, cshtml, which is a standard page that all the page uh, views use. And it's going to log this page view up in application insights for me. So that's pretty cool. So let me save that up. And then, of course, the last thing I'd want to do is to actually get this up into the live site. I've got to go check it in. Right? So I'm going to come in here, right-click on my solution. We come down and check in. And added app insights, telemetry, et cetera. Hit the check-in and let it go add those objects up into the uh, source control. And then remember, I'll get this continuous deployment uh, that's going to kick off for me. Once I've had that running for a while then, and I'll just come back over and return back to our Azure DevOps web, I'd then be able to go to the usage page. And from the usage page, I'd be able to do things like track top pages that are being accessed, et cetera. Now, in fact, I'm on a relatively restricted time frame here. This is a, uh, just a demo site that doesn't get hit that often. So let me widen up the, the reporting window here. And you can see then that I'm able to start tracking back, you know, the top page appears to be the home page, then maybe it was the contact page, then the about page, et cetera. Uh, and that's just based off, you know, some test data or some test runs that I had done against this pre-built website ahead of time. Well, that was a quick and simple demo of how to set up application monitoring with application insights. Got a few other go-dos for you. Remember that there's videos for the other scenarios in this series, so feel free to go and watch those. If you don't have MSDN and you'd like it, uh, you may actually qualify as a startup for BizSpark, and that'll give you access to those tools. So you can sign up at bizspark.com or feel free to follow up with me directly, and I can help you get an enrollment code. If you don't have an Azure account, you can sign up for a free trial, or if you have an MSDN uh, subscription, make sure to go in and activate your Azure benefit. And finally, go to visualstudio.com and sign up for a Visual Studio account. 
If you grab a copy of the slides, uh, all of these links are here. Uh, but the demo that I did here was admittedly pretty basic. I also, because I'm running on Azure websites, wasn't able to collect server level performance data. At this time, we don't support collecting server performance counters from an Azure website. If you wanna see how to collect uh, server performance counters from your own servers, then you might want to try out my teammate Jeff Faddock's continuous delivery with Visual Studio. There's a link to it there, uh, and that's a much more intense walkthrough uh, than what I demoed here. Now, as I mentioned, there are other videos in this series. We started out with an overview of Azure and Visual Studio Online. We came back in and saw how to create dev test virtual machines up in Azure. Then we took a look at setting up continuous deployment build definitions in Visual Studio Online and automatically deploying your websites to an Azure website. In this video, we took a look at monitoring your web applications with Application Insights. And in the last video, we'll take a look at load testing your web applications using Visual Studio Online. So I hope to see you there.